Welcome back everyone. I'm Jewel and I'm showing a tutorial today about hotkeys. And basically it's in OBS Studio. And if you don't know already how to do this, this is just a quick tutorial to show you what to do. So basically if you have OBS, it looks like this down here at the bottom where I've got it highlighted. If you double click on it on the desktop area, it'll open up to this like this. Or if you already have it on the taskbar, you just click it one time and it'll open to this. And you'll come under settings and you're going to click on hotkeys. Then you're going to see all this. So you, if you want to change any of this, this is where you change it. So you just look through it, see what you need to change. But in my case, say you want to change the recording then I would change it here but I like to keep mine on these most of the time but there's some games uh, like FS I believe 19 I have to change it because I believe one of these keys I can't remember which one it is is a special key for the developer mode so basically if your game that you're playing or if your uh, program you're using needs a certain key then you don't want to use those keys for your start recording and your stop recording or your pause recording and unpause recording so essentially what you're going to want to do is think of what what game you're going to play and think about what keys you have to use in the game if you have to use a period a comma apostrophe brackets minus or plus signs for different functions the brackets sometimes are, are different function uh, like I think for Goal Rush the game the brackets do something and of course tab does something and some of them in different ones and shift and all the num all the letters you might have to use because you might have to type a name or something like that so what you're going to want to do in some games you need to hit like say F7 or F this F6 F4 so you you might not can use that but most games I can use F4, F5, F6, and F7. Um, F8 was a problem for one of mine. I was using F7 and 8, but that 8 was a problem, so I had to change it. So essentially, what you're going to do if you want, once you get in here, pick which one you want. So you're going to double click on it with your left mouse button, and it highlights it. And then say I want 6. Well, then I could pick six, but I'm not going to pick six, obviously, because if I do, that's going to be a problem uh, because of the game might need that. I might have to type something in or whatever. Like on Trader Life Simulator, I have to type in numbers. So what you're going to want to do is think of which one you want, decide what it is, and pick it. So in this case, it's F4. And then for, that's the start recording, for stop recording it's F5 so I just got to remember that that's the stop recording button and I chose that one because the F5 button has a on my keyboard has a square on it which typically is uh, a sign for stop and the other ones have different uh, the 4 has a, a looks like a, a speaker uh, emblem and uh, F6 has a uh, rewind emblem and F7 has some other kind of emblem play pause or I can't tell what it is so essentially for my stop recording I have F5 for my uh, pause recording I have F6 and unpause I have F7 so basically you go down the line double click on each one type in which one you need if if it's a game that you don't need a period in and you need you want to use period for stop recording then use a period meaning stop period means at the end of a sentence so and then you could use a comma up here for start recording if there is nothing that needs a comma during your game and then like for pause or you don't have to even do pause and, and unpause but I like to do that in case there's something going on and I need to pause it real quick and I don't want to have to make a major edit because some noise happened or whatever you know so you want to be able to pause it quickly so and you need to remember memorize which keys these are so when you press them you know that you paused it or you then you unpause it and get going again or you know or you stop it or whatever so basically once you do your your choice 
you're going to click apply now I'm not going to do that because I'm actually recording right now and my I don't want to change anything because that's the same thing that I chose so I would click apply and then I would click OK so once you do that it's going to accept it and you're good to go now a quick tip now for me I don't need to click apply because I'm not changing it and I'm going to click X and it says do you want to do you have unsaved changes save changes and I'm going to say no because I don't want it to save anything because I want it to stay the same now if I was wanting to go into a game say steam right here I would open steam before I start recording obviously pretend that's not recording okay and you're gonna you're gonna what you're gonna do is get your microphone ready your headset and everything ready you're gonna open your game like put your password in get it ready to go steam or whatever and you pick the game you want after you've already set your hotkeys once you select right here in this scene graph here or the sources area you select say the game is uh, farming simulator 22 you make a uh, thing for farming simulator 22 such as that and then you click on it which I'm not gonna do and because I'm on this one right now and um, you click on it and you you know you set it up the normal way you've been doing and then once you do that and you already know what your keys are to start the recording and stop the recording and pause and unpause then you're going to go in your game and open it and pick the game you want which, whichever one you selected in your list that you made and go open the game once you open the game you get it right where you want it say you want it to uh, start the recording in the while you're already in the game because that's the whole point set up hot hotkeys so you open up the game and you get in the game and then you hit F4 in my case to start recording once I start recording I can begin my game I mean, basically I can play the game do what I gotta do if I hear a noise hit I can hit pause you might hear my dog I don't know if she's choking on something or what she's doing but you would hit pause when something like that happens and then which in my case would be F6 but yours whatever you choose you can change it anytime just hit apply after you change it and remember each game's different so you may have to go in there and you may have a problem because if you don't remember and you get in a game that has say a period and you had to use a period you're going to stop your recording and not know you stopped it and then you're going to keep talking and going on and on playing an hour or two and never be recording because you're going to be stopped your you know recording so make sure you remember which games need what and uh, change it accordingly but also once you start your game this is what I do because I have a microphone that sometimes acts up so what I do is go ahead and open up my game real quick that I'm gonna play get my microphone ready and everything and I hit record and I just say testing 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 something like that then I hit stop record on the hotkeys don't come in here I don't hit any of that and then I close the game out go to my file explorer where the game ends up being wherever you have it going to before you upload and I double click on it and check it if I have sound I'm good to go so I just delete the one I just made a two second video of me saying testing if it's ready to go I go back in the game get it opened up inside the game say if it's farming sim maybe I'm at the house maybe I'm in a field wherever I want to start it and then I hit F4 and then it starts recording and then I go along start playing the game and then I hit when I'm ready to finish I hit F5 so you would hit whatever you chose for stop and start recording and or pause and unpause so if you have to pause it hit pause for a minute and then unpause it now if you hit pause and you leave the computer to do something and come back you could have problems with your microphone not working if you move it or bump it or it it, it can glitch out so you could have problems that way so it's best not to leave the computer just pause it for a minute if there's noise and then unpause it and just try not to move if you got a cord uh, you know hooked to your microphone or whatever so you're not damaging anything or messing messing the microphone up so I hope this helps someone um, try to help people out with this YouTube stuff and other and OBS stuff but basically once you're done with all that 
you're good to go you don't have to do anything else you've already done the apply you don't have to change anything else and if it's and if you don't like it and you don't want to do it anymore just change it back to where there's no go back into settings and hotkeys and just make it delete it you'd have to delete uh, I'm not gonna do it but you clear the all these out so that it's empty like these and then you don't have to worry click apply click OK close it and then you're good so that's if you don't want anything no hotkey but anyway and all those other keys you can read and see what they do and you could use them accordingly most people probably don't use very many of them but anyway hope that you enjoyed I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one I'm gonna be doing some more uh, map making soon so stay tuned but that's what I had uh, open here but I appreciate everybody please hit the like button subscribe and turn on your notification bell if you want to receive a notification every time I post a video goodbye everybody